has come to the preview screen where it shows building something incredible. Let me just quickly check this one. And there you go guys, it has fixed the issue that we were. Did you know? Twin Brothers from India just launched an AI tool that's flipping the way we build full stack applications. It's called Emergent Labs and as of today, they have already created more than 10,000 applications with nothing but just text-based prompts. And the best part, you can do all of this just from your browser. No technical knowledge needed. You just mention what is that you're looking for and you see everything getting built in front of your eyes. The backend, the frontend and everything in between. Welcome to day 235 of the 1000 days of no code challenge. Emergent Labs was founded in 2024 by twin brothers Mukunja and Madhav Cha. Mukund, the CEO, previously co-founded Tanzo, India's first quick commerce platform that was backed by Google and Reliance. Madhav, the CTO, holds PhD in theoretical computer science from Penn State University and was a founding member of the team that built and shipped Amazon SageMaker. Their mission with Emergent Labs is to democratize software development by allowing anyone and everyone to build production-ready applications using AI. The platform has already seen massive results with over 10,000 applications being built from very simple landing pages to complex SaaS applications. Emergent Labs is backed by Y Combinators headquartered in San Francisco with a team of just 12 employees. So let's dive in and see how Emergent Labs is changing. So to begin with, let's head over to app.emergent.sh and uh, we have a very plain, beautiful uh, page here where we can uh, ask it to build any application for us. And as you can see, we could clone Spotify, we could clone Netflix, we could clone anything, right? And the beauty of this platform is that it will self check for any errors. And when the output comes out, it will be fully functional. At least that's what uh, most of the people who have used this has shared. So let's see what it does when we try it out. Okay, so we have to put the prompt here. We'll begin with a very simple uh, prompt that is create a personal portfolio with an about section, project gallery and a blog section powered by Markdown files. I'll click on enter. It starts working on getting the application built. While that's happening, what I'll do is I'll head over to Emergent SH again because it will take a while to build this entire application. Okay, and we have about uh, 50 credits. So I'll just go to, let's say clone YouTube this time. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we have budget planner, we have Elite footwear, we have surprise me. Let's clone YouTube or Netflix, maybe. Clone Netflix. So you can see that uh, this usually takes around one to two minutes and this one as well. So it has finished two steps, third and fourth is running. And here, okay, this seems to be pretty fast because uh, they've already cracked this code. They know that a lot of people uh, ask for this and maybe that's why they have it done faster. No. That was just the initial steps. Let's see what happens. Agent is thinking, the user wants me to start building a Netflix clone. So now the agent is thinking, let's see. So you can see here, introducing folks. Continue in a new chat with key context. Preserve, perfect for branching tasks. Okay, that's what fork is for. Awaiting, uh, agent is awaiting human response. So it has given us some uh, details here. 
I'll help you build a Netflix clone. This is an exciting project. Before I start implementing, let me clarify the scope and features you would like to include in your MVP to ensure I build exactly what you want. Right. So it has given some core features to consider questions to help me prioritize. Okay. What are the most important features you want in the initial version and so on and so forth. So I'll say build whatever you fish is enough for the demo. So my response to it will be build whatever you feel is enough for the demo because I don't want to read all the details and uh, give those point by point. Where is this one? Okay. I'll help you build a personal portfolio with an about section, project gallery and blog section powered by Markdown files. Before I start implementing, I would like to clarify a few details to create the best possible portfolio for you. What information should be included? Example, bio, skills, experience, contact info. Should it include a profile, photo or avatar? Any specific layout preference? Okay, this one I'll give a bit more in detail and uh, I'm going to paste an answer to it. Include bio, skills, experience, number of clients handled and contact info. Of course, include profile, photo or avatar. No preference. Surprise me with something cool and trendy. Uh, photo gallery, most commonly used ones. Blog, yes, supports, category, uh, tags, uh, and yes, a search is good to have. No comments stored in the database, right? That is for files. Um, and then I have mentioned all other details. Feel as you feel good. Oh, go. <laughs> Do as you feel good, right? Um, and I'll hit enter. So while this is running, let's go to the Netflix one to see what it has done. And it has already built a clone of Netflix. Building something incredible. Okay, let's see what it has got. While that's happening, let me quickly check if it has asked ask, if it's asking me any question. Okay. It's doing something. Analyzing your request. And you can see here it has uh, consumed 0.819 credits so far out of 5. And here we have got like 48.79 credits still left. Writing multiple files. Hang on. Let's go here. Compile with problems. So let's see what it does when it gets issues. Let me come back to this one. Writing multiple files. Hang on. So we can see here it has identified some issues and it is installing the missing packages. Let me come back to our portfolio project. Writing multiple files. Hang on. So we can actually see it has come to the preview screen where it shows building something incredible. Let me just quickly check this one. And there you go, guys. It has fixed the issue that we were seeing. And let me just open this in a new tab. Netflix, home, TV shows, movies, new and popular, my list, browse my language. And then, I don't know why it has left some space here. Maybe some issue there. But let's see how near is it to Netflix. Okay. Maybe it didn't want to copy the entire thing as is. But uh, it has got some theme from Netflix. Quite good with just one single prompt, I would say. And of course, it asked us like what it, uh, what we want from it to build. But uh, we didn't give any details there. We just told do as you please. And it has done exactly that. Right. I'm not really happy with what it has come up, but I would say it's still a great uh, output considering the fact 
that we had given just one single line of prompt okay let's see what it does with our portfolio project wow i think i love this okay let me open it in new tab and there you go guys so i have to upload my image here but it looks pretty cool right like name comes here our designation comes here and some details about uh, us location comes here and then view my work get in touch and about me right number of projects handled how many happy clients awards won cup of coffees my story technical skills professional experience right and uh, featured projects okay with the uh, tags of course uh, it should have uh, shown this tags not just while hovering but even otherwise otherwise this looks odd but i think cool little animation added as we can see and the uh, latest blogs it has uh, written some blog sections and so on and so forth and get in touch our email address the phone number the location and a uh, nice little form for anybody to fill their details so that they can get in touch with that and we also have a footer added over here let's see if this is responsive enough because that's what matters the most okay pretty good until here yes good 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 enough oh super cool you can see that it is pretty responsive all throughout from larger screen to your mobile screens the beautiful thing about this platform is if there are issues it will understand the issues and fix it all by itself as we saw in the netflix case there were some issues which i didn't even bother to read because i was already told that the platform will take care of the issues as well so what do you think for me i love the portfolio output much better than the netflix one but maybe just want to do something different with netflix honestly it's really nice to see something like this coming out from india and brothers doing it together we have seen so many great companies being built by siblings and this one feels like the latest addition to that list it's not just yet another ai app it's a reminder that indians are not just using ai but they are shipping too they didn't stop at mvp they built something really powerful and useful to everyone it's a world full of hype and this is the kind of work that lets you feel you want to get back to building so if you've been dreaming of launching something no excuses anymore try emergent and get your ideas to life faster thank you for watching and for those of you who have still not subscribed to our channel please do it right now because very soon we are coming up with something very very interesting see you in the next one